The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds for 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Be Quiet Dark Rock 2 CPU air cooler. A great looking box with a picture of the product on the front, plus lots of other features and specifications about the product. Now let me open it up and let's see what's inside. There's an accessory box at the top. I'll show you what's included in just a minute, as well as the cooler, which is packaged very well between two pieces of styrofoam. And here we have it. Now let's have a closer look. But before I do, let's see what's included in that accessory box. You've got an installation guide and all the materials needed for installing the cooler on just about any current socket that's on the market. They also include a tube of thermal compound. Now before I have a closer look at this cooler, let's go through the features and specifications about it. First, starting with this fantastic Silent Wings 135 millimeter fan. And the fan spins at 1,300 RPMs. The airflow is 58 to 97 CFMs. The air pressure is 1.64. The bearing type is a fluid dynamic bearing. Of course, this is a 12 volt fan. The input power in watts is 2.64. It has a four pin PWM or pulse with modulation fan connector. And of course, this gets connected into your motherboard CPU fan header and the cable length is 200. Now have a closer look at the seven blades. Each of them is ridged and this is to increase performance but also make sure that the fan stays as quiet as possible. Note as well that all the way around the perimeter on either side there is rubber so it doesn't matter if you have the fan mounted against the heatsink like so, or if you flip it around the other way, it's not going to vibrate. And here's that four pin fan connector, which of course gets connected into the motherboard's CPU fan header. And from there, you can control the speed of the fan. This lead is also sleeved. Now the fan comes installed on this heatsink, which is a time saver, but note the clips. They've got one on this side and another one on the other side. Now the overall dimension on this cooler is 97 by 138 by 166 and it weighs in at 0.86 kilograms. Now the dimension of the heatsink alone is smaller of course at 95 by 96 by 166 millimeters. So it's a medium sized cooler that should fit in just about any case that's currently on the market. Of course I'm referring to mid-sized tower cases and possibly smaller cases but check the dimension and see if it would fit in the case that you're thinking about getting. Now there are 44 aluminum fins. It comes with a nice smooth solid copper base which will make excellent contact between it and the CPU and it's CNC machined. All of the heat pipes are going into this base and by the way there are seven heat pipes and they are six millimeters each and note the surface treatment dark nickel plated. Now these heat pipes come with an oxygen free copper layer which will help move the heat from the base plate into the mini fins and of course then the fan will help dissipate that heat. Now have a look at the styling, overall fit and finish and build quality on this. I think it is literally out of this world. This is one of the best looking heat sinks that I've reviewed. It would certainly look great in your case. Everything about it from the top, all of the aluminum fins, right to the bottom. And note the very smooth, cool looking solid copper base. Now the TDP or thermal design power in this particular cooler is 180 watts and that's about average. It's not way at the top end. Some air coolers go up to you know 220 and above and some of course are below this one so this one lies somewhere in the middle. Now have a listen to the 135 millimeter fan at maximum RPMs and that is 1500.
So if you're in the market for a fantastic looking CPU air cooler that comes with a super quiet 135 millimeter fan and it has to perform really well, this just might be it. Without a doubt, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.